Lieutenant General Mike Rouleau, the second in command of the Canadian Armed Forces, has announced that he is stepping away from his post. We have obtained a letter that he did send to his colleagues in the Canadian Armed Forces announcing uh, his, his uh, departure. This comes after it was revealed that he went on a golf trip, or uh, went golfing, I should say, with the head of the Navy, as well as the former Chief of Defence Staff, Jonathan Vance. Now, Jonathan Vance, as we know, is currently being investigated for inappropriate behavior in the workplace. Um, and I can tell you that, I mean, the departure letter, as you see here, is rather lengthy. He says uh, that I wish to tell you that I fully accept how my decision to has, an, uh, excuse me, how I fully accept how my decision to do so has intensified recent events and contributed to further erosion of trust. He says, as a result, he's stepping aside immediately as vice CDS and will transition to the CAF, the Canadian Armed Forces Transition Group. Uh, so that the latest, this comes after a wave of resignations in the Canadian Armed Forces uh, as you know, it, it's come to light um, and investigations are underway. Parliamentary committees have looked at the you know, inappropriate behavior that has happened and as we're learning, um, you know, right to the top. And so even though uh, he says that he was concerned about Jonathan Vance's mental health, it, he says it did erode trust with the forces. Yeah, and it's interesting, Michelle, that he said he was just reaching out to check on the wellness, I guess, of Vance, but that he went on to say not one person discussed any matters pertaining to any investigation. So in other words, saying, you know, he didn't do anything wrong, but he understands that it looks bad. What does this mean for the military going forward? Well, this shows truly that the system is broken, which we have heard time and time again from the multiple studies from Supreme Court justices who have looked into it. And this is especially bad because the CFNIS, the National Investigation Service for the Canadian Armed Forces, reports right into him. The CFNIS is looking into, the, into Jonathan Vance, so you could see how that's very close. So, you know, the fact that he and Jonathan Vance are buddies, obviously, uh, and the fact that the CFNIS, even though he, he says he's never been briefed on anything, it certainly does create um, a, a sense of very, very worrying signal. Now, what we need to find out is, is the structure going to change so that this doesn't happen in the future? The military is in a state of flux when it comes to particularly uh, the reporting of uh, sexual misconduct allegations. They want to make sure the government wants to make sure, and this just recently, that it's handled outside of the military. So even if you're pointing your finger at the top of the chain, there at the top of the chain, there won't be repercussions, and the and the investigation will be carried out whole, in a, in a wholesome sort of way.